Insta uh, chase up. I thought Hubba would bring back Plugger. And Plugger, yes. And view of our Ernst Workshop uh, developments, actually. So that's Plugger. So Plugger has been evolving. Look at the original one there, actually. Yeah, he's over there. So Plugger has been evolving considerably in the last um, few months. So we've done some more refinements. And we've done it to try and to actually get even a better quality and a nicer fit. So we mm. have a version which is a model kit to build. It's in about seven, eight parts, ten parts. Yes. Uh, and it's really uh, a nice little project. It would be a nice gift as well for someone perhaps overseas or just even someone just wanted to do a model, which is not too difficult. Yes. Um, and it involves a bit of painting. You can paint it as you wish. I guess it can be the traditional green and yellow or more like what BJ is building. I'm doing the restaurant. Yep, the restaurant. Facebook. Yeah, I'm doing the car. restaurant car at the moment. Which is uh, so the maroon brown, yes, maroon, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so this is plugger. Let's actually look. So that's the row version of plugger, and that's so the you finished can see, version. You can see how the Kato uh, engines just dropped out. So that's the the little unit you can use if you want to drive it on tracks. Or there's also a version which has got a a little plinth with the yep. uh, track on it. But the great thing about that body is if you build it as a model kit, you can still just get the little uh, unit and put it on a track if you do okay. so want to in the future. So this one has, so this one is the one for the motorized version. This is the one for the model kit version. So it's yep. got a chassis, yep. your bogies here. Now we changed a couple of things here. The bogies are all one piece, yep. uh, but the body is roofless. So yes. it's in two parts Yep. because the quality of the production be it was much nicer in, mm. in two parts. Yep. So, you know, it's been evolving. It's always good, this particular system, because it allows us to produce items and then uh, fine tune them as we go. Absolutely. Hmm. And uh, I don't have all the parts here, but we have eventually developed a range of HO scale products. Yeah. My link and work have been working on quite a few things. Hmm. Um, so, that's a Victorian type buffer stop yep. uh, in HO scale. That's traditional Victorian. So work found some original drawings of this uh, of this buffer stop and yep. some photos, and we reproduced this one. Along with this, we have uh, the water crane. The water crane? The water where, crane? where do you go? Uh, let me see if I have a water crane. Actually. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I have it here. Apart from that, we've got these other bits here too. I lost the water crane. Okay. Go. Look at the willy beans. Yep. I probably see them. Uh, we show some of those while we're there. Well, we've got the 16 scale bucket. We've got a 35th scale bucket. We've got, there's an example of the, the muzzle brake, which is for the 16 scale German tanks. The 7.5 centimeter gun. So that's what the bucket looks like as you get it. That's after painting. So I've textured that one and I've painted it up. Same with this. So, yeah. So you got your th there's 35th scale, right? Yep. And this is a 35th scale rubbish bin. Yep. You go with it. Quite nice. And then we've got our little, that's a, uh, a fire extinguisher that goes on the tank as well. And here is the 35th scale bucket where I've just bent the, uh, the copper for the handle. Right there. I think that's about it. That's it. So back to the train. So got your buffer stop here, Victorian yep. buffer stop. And then we have the Victorian um, water crane. Yep. So again, this is a very popular thing that you see around country towns. Yes. Um, and it's designed in three pieces, so it's, hmm. it, it swings, as you can see, like it was the original. Um, and again, it's be assembled and painted, and that's HL scale. Um, we have a couple of traditional bins um, yeah. that are quite nice in a station type environment. Yep. And then, if you have a bit more of a city type environment, I guess residential got little rubbish bin in two everyone, sizes. Everyone knows the wheelie bins. Wheelie beans, yeah. Yep. Uh, I think 60 liter and 120 or something like that. So yep. there's a couple of different, uh, different beans. 
And we have letter boxes. Yep. And the uh, phone boxes. Phone box. Yeah, the Telstra phone boxes Thanks have been very, box. very popular. Very popular. So. Yep. We've got a very um, unique shape about them. Absolutely. So good mm. range of uh, little accessories for Australian yeah. well, trains. Yeah. So I guess with the Hearns Workshop, it's probably just on a year since we first Correct. released it. And as you can see, we've really um, expanded uh, yeah. the range. And we're actually learning ourselves what we can do, and it's basically endless. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. The idea of doing the jig for the uh, little buckets is quite interesting because we clearly producing this very fine, less than one millimeter uh, wire for your uh, 16 scale bin uh, bucket was a challenge, but when yep. you go down to 35 scale, it's virtually impossible. Yes. So whilst we could actually have produced, it would have been very, very delicate. That's right. So we decide to go down the path of um, having a little jig. So there's a little jig, and then there's see there. There's a little bit of the copper wire, and that's just been bent around the jig to get the shape, and then we just fit it through the little holes. And as you can see there, it looks perfect. Okay, and there's a, the one here which has been painted up. Painted up as well. Yeah. Like that. So two different type of buckets. Yep. Um, as you see, they, they've got the two different style in, 30, in 16 scale and 35th, but both are available in uh, all different scales. I think even 24 scale from memory. Yeah. So you can see this one, there's slightly different shape. This one's got the ribs around the center. This one's all flat sided. This one I've textured up a little bit. It's yeah. just got a little bit of a um, Tamir putty on it. Ah. Yeah, have so done, I, I did a tutorial. tutorial. Oh, I good. did. I'll have to check it out then. Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask how so you done it. So that's coming soon. Very good. And what else do we have here? Ah, the, back, the other the other rubbish bin. Yeah. Uh, you've probably seen this on Facebook if, if you follow us on Instagram and so forth, but this is another 30, this is 35th scale. Yeah. However, this is also available in 1 to uh, 87 or HO scale. But then, of course, there's also all the range of figures as well. That's right. Let me see if you have. Yeah, got quite a few different figures. So. What's she doing? She's just come out of the pool. She's coming oh, out, she's out of the gym. Gym, and she's photographing. Right. She's in one to twenty-four scale from memory. Yep. And uh, this would go really well with a twenty-four scale car, obviously. Hmm. So yeah. So if you're interested in these, just have a look on the website. We've got them all under the Hearns Workshop banner. Uh, banner. Yep. yep. And you'll be able to see uh, a whole list of all the different uh, types of subjects that we've been working on. And so yeah, we've got about 100, 110 products or so. Yep. And they are available. Some are actually in stock. So if you pop through the store, you will see them from time to day. We've got a selection there. 